alternative dig talk real issues real talk you have got to get up pretty early to go do something We are the alternative dig talk. With our mobile studios, we are redefining TV presentation just as technology is setting the pace. We are blending our approach with fresh perspectively designed breakfast show the mighty drive informative and entertainment show exclusive and live interviews we president msebeni wa the juice na mlaba apima kaunga kilo 2 tasubula kalia nini bwa bali ya kilo 5 we anemo kulisa igwanga ne bali muundekera jagala kweva za the alternative digi talk it wade kanoka mighty drive era na abatuuliriza bonna abali ku mikutu njagala basa ba mugendo maso noku uliriza all given to you just a click away on your phone, tablet, laptop and smart TVs as we are streaming live on our social media platforms on the road and on the go. We are the alternative dig talk. The world is at a critical moment of providing innovative alternatives as a means to create change. We have created a not-for-profit alternative mobile digital platform as a way to promote space for freedom of speech and expression to the unheard voices. We know you believe in the cause and you can further urge more by contributing to its sustainability in forms of internet data, fuel and any other support you deem relevant. Please support us with your contribution to Equity Bank account number 1035201607252 under the name Alternative Digital or our mobile money numbers 0702900076 or 0783047785 Alternative Digital Real Issues Real Talk Hey Ugandans, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Dewa Kiki, the Deputy Defence Spokesperson and actually the Deputy Spokesperson for the Uganda People's Defence Forces. I was hosted on Alternative Dig Talk. I encourage all Ugandans that this is the way to go. Always watch, participate, give your views and ask questions on Alternative Dig Talk. Dig Talk, the way to go. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. Very, very good 
morning and a warm welcome to the Mighty Drive Show. Mwena mwena, habari mkutula haba oruna kuoluwa lero. Nakuzo mwezi kumi, omwezi guwa kutano, oba mei, omwaka bidi abidi mugumu. Omwaka noguta ambula, nakuzita ambula, the days are moving fast forward. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mighty Drive Show. Remember, this show airs every Monday to Friday. Okuva kusawe mwe yokumacha, paka kusawa satwezo kumacha. It's just two hours of talking to you, talking to Uganda, as we find out what is happening around the world, as we get a uh, different ideas from different people and uh, different ideologies on how they think we can move the country our uh, best and better ladies and gentlemen welcome aboard it is me edgar matthew karuhanga like as i'm always here every day monday to friday we're always here talking to uganda and to make sure to get a coming to every room about to jagala oksan yukira wa muna baba sanyuse ona kuru walero Wike batambuli debulunji mwena sanyu kana mwena mwe Aba funye mu ebitali bilunji obe bibi Elanja gano kuna kuwalira muna wa muna mwe Because at the end of the day uh, we have to live a life of other people A life that uh, you, you, ono, like dube ya gamba uh, Blessed is the hand that giveth than the hand that taketh Aba, aba uriza nyo reggae music uomu wame yu like dube uh, Bibi vitu vitu mu yigako unako ulu mkati chwe mademba gama mbu Unako ulu wale ronja gano kusanyu kila wame Naba sanyuka uh, te, is, in, 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 ono na, na kuwalia wamu na mwe habana kuwala ono na kuwalua alero um, kama asoburo kubagumia bintu mija ibade vigena mwuma so na eka nsokele kumaulile agatari ga, gasanyu omuchala nalu kuwago judith kutubade tuino kubana ye ono na kuwalua alero nga mwalawe ku social media za fe zenja ulo Tasobode kutuega tako, unakulwe gula kaungezi pe gulo kusawa nga satu she was rushed and admitted in hospital following a, a some mild illness that she got. Yafunye kubulwa de kaungezi pe gulo, edha ya dusidua na atuwaliwa muduari ya tasobode kubana fe unakulwa lero. But lucky enough ya tuwa de replacement. Kwe tugenda kubela no muami, apa muita Abbas Loyomba. Muami ono, he's the constitutional minister uh, wali kusetende kero oba yuki university ya Makere University. Yagena kubela wa muna ange wano, watunyumia muami to binge as we dissect on uh, uh, how the election has been uh, in the Makere University uh, this time around the 85th election and uh, the 86th election and to get a call get a how uh, his, his, his uh, story as an individual to get a copy to binge binge nyo and get you to not while I be injured is a mass curriculum mutia all that are coming about at here on here at the mighty drive ladies and gentlemen at the alternative Uganda on Facebook and the alternative Uganda on YouTube and I'm bunny is a show a nunji a new vu a dollar dollar tell a friend to tell a friend because we are live from Makerere Abamanyi Makerere Makerere University are around there Chikoni abantu wa mwena mwena we tolo de that area of Makerere ladies and gentlemen tukenda kubela wa mwena mwena abantu we mulago mwena 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 um, logging on to our social media platforms the alternative Uganda on Facebook and the alternative Uganda on YouTube tukenda kubanga tunyumia mwe mbozo kumala two hours as we break down with Uganda having a conversation with everybody who's out there ladies and gentlemen mwena kubanga mchali ku program uh, the mighty drive ndoza katu ingine mauli de agabadega singa ukutambula wiki no because a lot of things have been happening around the globe and this is the mighty uh, news global update so ladies and gentlemen let's go around the world but before you go around the world let's start from here uganda uganda Story mu jamu yenta go kumanya mu nakubiri. That means on Wednesday uh, we are going to be seeing a uh, President Museveni swearing in for the seventh time, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Omwami, a uh, President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni on the 12th of May, uh, 2021, is going to be swearing in as the President of the Republic of Uganda. Ida mukolo uh, ubagutege seda. Juke watu kamba mbuno. We're going to have 21 heads of state. They are going to be in the building on that day on Kololo Air Strip. Bagenda kubera over heads of state. So, a president uh, wa Uganda, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, ya wangu la karuru, wa demanji baka, baka disputing, ana hii electoral commission, uh, yoya kiliza, ne court na yone kiliza, ntiwa mwami, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, ya wangu la uh, karuru, kano, uh, kawe de. So, uh, nga nakuzo mwezi kumina bili, eh, genda kubera Wednesday, no, eh, tu genda kubera wali kukolo independence grounds, nga tu celebrate, nga jukila abagenye kuminya, uh, bebe tegeso kubanga bayi ingine guanga lino Uganda, 
we were going to occupy our walk of color air strip. Unga balaba, obanga wote ne singa okula izakuwa a president yoweri kagota museveni. Kuna kula ira kwenye kwa 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 msanvu juu kwa mami yonyaji ya mulukumi rinda china na mukaga ya soko kukuata enkasi yokuwe mbere guanga dino Uganda. Thirty five years down the road, he is still the same president, and uh, he has told you he is securing your future this time round, ladies and gentlemen. So, mweta kikere president yoweri kagota museveni swearing in that is due on the twelfth of May at twenty at twenty one. Gatu ngide koma uli ya malala katukende koma mguanga linerea China Abanji, banji mchimanyi mchaini ebade ya launching a spaceship ngeno spaceship ebade elimu wengula na ye uh, uh, mauli ya manji gari gata mula mboe spaceship ene elimu kuva ye genda kubanga ye gunda uh, kuk earth na inga tima manji wawe njini it was speculated that e genda kubanga yegwa in one in, on earth but they didn't know where exactly is it going to fall na ye uh, unakulwe gulo aba chai, chai, chinese spaceship eno yala viki dua kunga e gude um, sema, sema yanja over uh, the ocean called the indian ocean or unakulwe Gulo, abanye sasa ba na ba United States, ba China weva confirm ni zemu no ya gude mu antla mu Indian Ocean, na ye abasaja ba na ba United States ya America ya Gambia mbuteri shua enti oba ya gude mu gundi ya gude mu Indian Ocean. Kwa ba nchi ba ba Gambia mbuno, inzo kuwe genda kugua au wakati wa Middle East, umanyo au umanyo Gulf, umanyo mapi wakati wa Middle East ne Africa, there is that 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 Gulf ebira wakati ba Gambia, we ba ba suli. In fact, it's called the Egyptian Canal. Ah, we watu wakati ga ga ga. Uh, Europe, then one was all Africa, then Kusaide and all your Mediterranean, on all your Atlantic Ocean and all your Mediterranean Ocean, Katin Wabeda, you uh, Indian Ocean. Na inga US, you are the speculators, eh? Nti uh, Chine Chombo, Chigenda Kuanga, Chigua, Wakati, wa Africa, and Europe, or Wakati Mo Gulf, eh? Na ete Chagu deo, China, ya confirm is in which Chombo Chawe, a Chagu de on the, the Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean, you know, eri eh, Salia Kuma, Ku Africa, and Oxidia, right? Abamani, um, our report ya Mombasa, ekili ya pake ilimu South Africa e itakomu Mozambique abantu wa manjima hape ya Africa so that is the Indian Ocean bagamba spaceship eno mwe ya good day bagamba there is no harm that has been caused to any person okuja kwa yu spaceship eba ya, ya yunone se ne yunone kera adala so gega mauli ya gava kwa wali mugwanga ilia China Katugende kwa mwanga area bungereza aba London. E chibuga London chafunye mea wacho uwoku bili in a row umami uh, Sadiq Khan. Sadiq Khan ya afuse uh, mea uwoku bili. Uh, uh, it's, it's his second time uh, as mayor of London. Uh, e chibuga cha London ye mea wacho umundi gunu kwa kubili ogo mundi ili nganwa. Uh, Juki la uh, umami no uh, wachi aliso special kukubanga tumogede ko kukubanga ye mea wa chibuga chine cha London. Uno msaje chisoka msira ya Sadiq Khan. Sadika is a Muslim. Uh, Kufa mguange yendo zelea Pakistan. Yes, dia vana jana immigrating. Anajia mguange yendo zelea mungereza. Na ye, bakula, uh, kulaze mbuno, amid all the, res, the racism, all the racial inequalities and the different, you know, ethnicities that uh, happens in London, umami ono a Muslim at that has been able to rise uh, to become the mayor of uh, one of the biggest cities in the world, if not the biggest, uh, London, and the most expensive at that. So, Echuchikula ga gwalie yon. Tina wosobola terichita soboka. You can rise up from the shambles of inferiority uh, to the great horizons of superiority. Ndoza omchala ote di ajuki ya history class ya fe Napoleon Bonaparte. Eh, watu. He rose from the shambles of inferiority uh, to the great horizons of superiority. Chechimu nye sadikan. Sadikan ya lazembu na sobode okubanga uh, becoming a mayor of London. Uh, nobody expected this. Na ye, gino gumurundi gwa kubiri. Him being a Muslim, that is the first thing. And him being, uh, you know, an Asian is the other thing. So uh, congratulations to Sadiq Khan. Okubanga wa mvote nzo. Kunda moku veda mea wechibuga chino. Nechabu ngeleze chalanda. Nechiteke zambu a bit. Uh, racism is starting to crop out. Crop out. And that is a plus uh, to all of us ladies and gentlemen. Katukende kwa mguanga li nedea Scotland. Awamanyi Scotland. Uh, Diyeribuga. It's part of England. Uh, why UK na yenga. Hati bo ba 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 bagala katika seeding. Oma oma mani oba bagalo bwe tuwaza independence. So guanga inedia Scotland yagala ku breaking away. Juki da dio diari kiri zanyo mchibu mchine chitongo lecha European Union. Na e juki after the prerequisite, e chibuga guanga inedia bungere zariava mu mu European Union. Ne bagala bagala ba berenga. It's a sovereign state. They are not mandated by any particular organization or anything, any entity. So bava mu gua mchine mchine chitongo lecha European Union. Na e a juki la Scotland ye ba de cha kiliza mchibuga mchitongo le chine cha European Union so it brought about a bit of challenges and uh, uh, heads on from different countries England and uh, UK and uh, Scotland because Scotland ino, ine guanga gaga Scotland ina mafuta 
Uh, so uh, ndoza okubanga bagenda kuva mu mugwanga lino bagenda ku succeedinga ku gwanga lino lya bungereza that means bungereza agenda kuva so we bintu binji because they've been getting a lot of money uh, in terms of revenue collections uh, in terms of you know uh, fuel in terms of other raw materials from Scotland now it's so unfortunate that Scotland ndoza ye yagala ku breaking away because they believing they can stand as an independent state first of all and they can also tap into the advantages of being part of the European Union we were only part of the European Union ladies and gentlemen abanda ba runako rwalero oyino kuchimanya mbuno european union ogenda uh, funa free trade there's going to be free movement of goods there's going to be free movement of people that is human capital labor nti omuntu agenda kuva mu kwangeli yabungereza agende mu sweden asala agende mu denmark asala agende mu finland ngati bamusabye chintu chona goods zigenda kusala zive mu finland zigende mu denmark zive mu denmark zigende mu northern ireland oba zide mu southern ireland ngati wali chintu chona because this is a one big body it's the european union na ye egwanga uh, lineli yabungereza okuva mu that means uh, Scotland again are subjected to taxes or uh, subjected to, to document documents of Gamambu no Gena Fuluma or Kuvamo mo Scotland or Genem, let's say Sweden. But Jacusa baby one di Kovinj, out of which rich but the easy and Yabado or Yabada Salabas in Afghan Motokai because you've had those people having given road trips. Navuga from uh, Denmark to London, Navam, London again, I'm Finland again, I'm Sweden. That's a road trip. Natagana must have a toll zone now. Now over or direct over the Mugundi, European Union. That means you're going to be subjected to those taxes. Uh, let us break away also uh, from England. And they've also, I think, got tired of the England domination. Scotland as an independent state. So that is uh, sad indeed. Now Scotland again are breaking away from England any time from now. Gega Maudia Gava Mugwanga Edio. Elia Bungeriza. Ndoza tuveko mu Europe, tudeko uh, mu Asia, Afghanistan, uh, tuzena mauli ama uh, again naku, onako uruwa leo. Ama tuatano muna nabe bafude in uh, the bombings that were in Kabul. Abama nye chibuga Kabul, this is the capital city of Afghanistan. It was a school and there were old people, there were students, uh, young children who had gone to school. The school was bombed uh, by uh, those terrorists. So, many in Afghanistan, Middle East, Afghanistan, uh, Pakistan and uh, Israel. These three countries have uh, refused to have peace at all in the world. And it is said that these particular countries are going to spark off the, world, the Third World War. Because Tulabanga uh, bombing this is say about Katatano Munanaba for the but when you count fifty eight people, that means fifty eight families have lost people. Or chitegida, a chichi chibira chana kunyo abantu atano munana families atano munana zona zazimbi uh malala mapia a jibabeda. And at the end of the day, how will we achieve what we want to achieve if there is no peace? There is nothing that can be born without peace, ladies and gentlemen. So Abantu watano munana beba fude mugwanga lino area Afghanistan uh, following the bombings that happened yes I think Saturday abantu uh, atano munana bambi ba fude so yeah, let, may their souls rest in eternal peace it's really uh, really something so so sad ladies and gentlemen right there nayenga tusaba emirembe jeyongero I don't know by the way there is a um, a political tension or a security tension between our uh, Pakistan and Israel. You can bagla kulonchinga a war because Pakistan are breaking away from Israel and Israel is not accepting uh, Pakistan and, uh, and, uh, and and them to have that bit of uh, you know that that independence. Uh, so tukenda kula be bintu binji mkama tuyambere mekubera another war that will take many many lives and it may not may, may it not spark off the third world war because a lot of uh, you know, analysts, security analysts are that have come out to say that these three countries are no gatako nebuyindi because it's Pakistan, Israel, India, and Afghanistan. Is it is a bit of controversy? Come out here, the mix parking off the third world war because it has been anticipated that these four countries will you care. They are too china chiva kuchi, cause okay, the cook celebrating in the shortest uh, time possible. All your countries, all your uh, political affiliations, Bidi. Uh, all your uh, affiliation here in the United States, all your affiliation here Russia and China. Nti, ogenda, uh, United States again, they are going to be in Israel. Ate, Russia is going to be in Pakistan. Ochitegera, nti kati zino zino zi for zino states and nene weziba understand so kubera anga zili controversial before m m countries weziti. That means there is a lot of, there is a lot at stake. Russia and China have other allies. Uh, you know the Eastern uh, community. Then, well, on the Western community, the United States, the Mubabungereza, 
Ezo countries na zozi na alliance in dana. Ebi ebi mtu ebi abon ebi ebi alicha the uh, 1918 first world war. Uh, 1914 to 1918 first world war, and the second world war from 1939 to 1945. The same things were the ones that sparked off this. So the, the, these world wars, and it's not something that we really have to look at. Though United States survived 1948, the United States Charter uh, for Human Rights, what, what, those things. Maybe now we are going to be in you know, uh, 60 years down the road, 70 years down the road, we are still feeling the same things uh, that are still cropping up in this country. So we pray. Uh, for uh, you know peace and harmony in that uh, Gulf and uh, you know in between these European countries and the Middle East and uh, the Western community. So abantu atano muna na bawe bati dwa mchibuga Kabul echa Afghanistan. Ndoza mauli ya malala katugede kwa no mtai grey region. Ndoza abantu wa singa bade wa following mighty drive. Uno utalo tuta rugenzo kutaa ndiko luli mu, mu Ethiopia mu, uh, between the Tigris and the main government. But then duba wanga ko updates nyingi. Zena watu kano baga mambuno echari mu Tigris region yeno mu eastern Ethiopia. It was more or less like a genocide. Though in, in the eyes of genocide many people don't accept and don't give legitimacy to these things. But some of them are really really true. Abantu banji wali mkuti wa eastern Ethiopia. Atesi batandi se sawas you know. Abantu wetoge ya babunda bunda. Abali mugwangali ya we. Refugees in their own countries are more than uh, 5 million right now. Abantu banji bagenda be yongira. Abantu babunda bunda nyo and you know in eastern region and wali mkutiwa na hiyo tuwa gena nga international community zi sirise united nations zi sirise african union zi sirise people are keeping quiet yet genocide is going on ate guno sigwe guso senga these these uh, bodies keep a, de a deaf ear uh, to these things. We saw in uh, 1994, the genocide that was in Rwanda, it was not legitimized as a genocide till June, till June because you know, you know, a genocide yatandi kakuvamu epo Weba kuba gundi aeroplane ya yomami yona habiyaribia na juvenile habiyaribia na up to June. June United Nations were violating the troops in Zayo Mwanda. Okay, Kasambu, no, this was a genocide. But this was already too late. Many people had died. Close to a million people were already dead in June. Uh, so it's the same thing that is happening in Ethiopia. People are pretending like they're not seeing what is happening. Eritrean troops have come to, from Ethiopia and have entered. Uh, Eth have, have come for, Eritrean troops have come from Eritrea and have entered Ethiopia, and many people are dying. People are dying. About Babunda, Babunda. International communities. This is where is the international community? Where are things like the United Nations? Where is the African Union talk about these things? Because people are dying in Eastern Ethiopia. Many people are really, really dying. Uh, reports is full. Many zigama mukati numbers. They are keeping quiet, pretending like they are no longer uh, seeing what's going on. Those are Kamalizene story, uh, Sami Asuluhu, a first state visit. First state visit, a jitu ya jitu temu guanga lidi area Akinya, balilu anaba Tanzania. Nyewe bavudene, nagenda nakula first state visit. Muizo gamba mbate. First state visit, yeti atenga yajia kumu Uganda. Walo visit, uh, eriwe better state visit, that is the maximum, like your last stage. Your stage is okay, lako dala, ugambi rambu, it was a state visit. Newe yajia mu Uganda wano, yalaze for an official visit. An official visit, yalaze kusaini nga dine, laya chogede, ne kuchogede, ya demu guanga, lidi ya Kenya. Yagambi, my first state visit was not in Uganda. I was on an official visit in Uganda to sign an oil deal. Yalita ze kuchari la guanga. Oba kuja ku estate visit. O kuchari la guanga. Yalita ze kolecho. Muyuganda yalita ze kusaini nga diru ya mafuta. Avenga uh, chimala. So. In that room, he again the Mugwanga leader Kenya on his on her first official visit. Right there, Samia Sulu is one interesting character. Now we are going to put one of her speeches. We are there, Wanga. About to pass the senior, but now Kenya, you can come to the Okogani Parliament in Kenya. It was a it was a joint uh, discussion. You can Kenya in a Parliament, but we are not Senate. We are not in a Yawansi Congress. Senate here, remove the senators and the Congress here, remove MPs, the governors, man, yabo. Uh, so by your guess, we will use Michael Samia Sulu Hunga. We are wa gundi yenga wa address yewe ya basese zanyo ya yu gede kubi intu winji mwatu ya yu gede kubanga uh, nagamba mboi eh, the kenyan uh, swahili is dilute bebo gira ya ebi uh, yu sasa mbibu yu yu nsonga racha ya ganyo na ukulawa parliament discussions yawe za parliament yawe niti anyu mwenge jibo gira ulu swahili ulu tali yu mbolu swahili wawe ulu dilute na yu katifu wa muna uganda uh, fwe tuli ulu swahili ulu kenya tefe tulu za lwaka binyo because uh, ndo za walo saying gamba 
Swahili was born in Tanzania, then it was raised in Kenya, it died in Uganda. Uh, so, Yavude na wagama mbu mwuru swahili wa mwuru 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 Tanzania, Rwasa okay, I'm Tanzania, and then Rujamo Kenya, e Mombasa. Uh, so yeah, you get a good trade, uh, wakati we guanga in area Kenya, in Tanzania. Uh, Kwanga na Kenya is spending over 1 billion, 0.700 million USDs. Mugwanga in area Tanzania. So I think that you can join Pombi Magufuli wa Badawi rao, Badawi wa liyo controversies in Nyingi. Elanze ndo za Samia Suluhu ya kuze decision in Nunjo Kubanga avude, Kubanga azena aso kira Mugwanga ya Kenya for official visit. Because you can in Kenya Airways, John Pombi Magufuli wa Gendro Okufira, nga ziganyo kuda mokula ndinga Mugwanga in area Tanzania. This gentleman was a very, very controversial character. Ni Samia Suluhu afudeyo na la gambu no. Ayaga lo komi ya obu. Ntujuke ya eri mugwanga ya yogi la dambu no. Human rights is not prevailing. A defending of human rights, political parties and affiliations. All these things have to thrive for a country to be uh, better and better. So ya afudeyo na, na jana gamba companies. Ikenda kudamu Kenya Airways is now officially allowed to land in Dar es Salaam. To land in uh, other parts of uh, Kenya, Zanzibar, of Tanzania, sorry. Uh, so ayaga lo komi ya all that, that friendship that was there between the Kenyans and the Tanzanians. So Samia Suluhu ya get a good trade na na yazenga yamba de mask by the way chine chintu ya te china sangi kwa mugwanga lino edia tanzania juki lakuwa kujeni pombi magufuli wa edia achari wanga mask tebacha zi tamiyana nyo na ye yavude yazenga yamba de mask atene chintu ya chanyu mide kumuchalo no nti ha ina sako umanyuma president sima nubabila ne, ne sako zi sato walie sako zi e imwe tolode baba kumi baba mwe tolode then walua wabe tolode premises then walua na abalala wabe ila wawo nga buwe balinga toba manjina inga uwe balinga that is the third sako it's a big ring Walaba nga ina sako ino mchala, bachala beba, mu, beba mukuma, ladies, neba na wambala masuti, neba nono bodyguard way yinina mubeda kwa, they're all ladies. Uh, so walaba mbuno women emancipation aji support in zono mchala. So Samia Suluhu is one lady who's going to be, who you need to look out for. Uh, because no walaba ni speeches zengiri jazi kola, she's a funny person. Uh, sesa ni wawaba yo gede vintu ya sendo za yasa sesa, ba MPs wa pa Kenya, okuma, I think like the whole, whole entire speech she was making them just laugh and they were laughing and laughing so this is an interesting character at uh, that ladies and gentlemen those are going to get my only like a scene and those are a lot of news in this particular country those are kamaliza kamaliza in a story yeah mother's day on a cool day mother's day so i would love to uh, you know uh, celebrate all mothers around starting from my very own mother uh, the beautiful i call her beautiful and pretty uh, kahuli edith kaliegira uh, my lovely mother, I would like to wish you a happy Mother's Day. And uh, all the mothers are around uh, all the world and around Uganda because this is officially the World Mother's Day. So, we have Mother's Day to celebrate the Mother's Day. All the mothers that are in this country and around the globe, South Africa, Mwebali nyo wabantu wabali mwido east. So na mwena, happy Mother's Day to all of you ladies and gentlemen. Those are, let me come to the end of uh, the news bulletin. This is what has been happening all over the country, all over the globe. And uh, yes, I will give you more news in case we still have time. But uh, we, it's time I think we go for a short commercial break. We tuko mao tukenda kubanga tulino muami na magambe he is a bus uh, luyomba ono ye constitutional minister, 85th constitutional minister owa Makere University. Ndo zangaye balo onze president. That means she, the president, new president will come with a new cabinet. Katon Tumbalanga, the 85th uh, constitutional minister of, uh, of uh, you know, Makere University. Apologies from Nalukwago Judith. Uh, unfortunately, she had a problem. Yeah, she was rushed in hosp uh, to hospital yesterday uh, in the evening. Uh, so, it was all about the Alina Fenaya delegate in the Omami Ono, Abbas Luyomba. Okubanga atuwe kata konga, tunyumia mwembozi na ye uh, to represent uh, Nalukwago Judith in this particular case. We're going to ask why was Nalukwago Judith, uh, you know, disqualified the state and uh, the university politics? How can we come to a consensus between all of these? This and more comes your way at the Mighty Driver, just 27 minutes past 7 a.m. Let's go for a short commercial break. My name is Edgar Matthew Karuhang.
alternative dig talk real issues real talk the world is at a critical moment of providing innovative alternatives as a means to create change as such we have created a not-for-profit alternative mobile dig talk platform as a way to promote space for freedom of speech and expression to the unheard voices we know you believe in the cause and you can further urge more by contributing to its sustainability in forms of internet data, fuel, and any other support you deem relevant. Please support us with your contribution to Equity Bank account number 103-5201-607252 under the name Alternative Digital or our mobile money numbers 702 90 or 0783-047785. Alternative Digitalk, real issues, real talk. Hey Ugandans, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Dewa Kiki, the Deputy Defense Spokesperson, and actually the Deputy Spokesperson for the Uganda People's Defense Forces. I was hosted on Alternative Digitalk. I encourage all Ugandans that this is the way to go. Always watch, participate, give your views and ask questions on alternative Digitalk. Digitalk, the way to go. Get up pretty early to go do something. We are the Alternative Dig Talk. With our mobile studios, we are redefining TV presentation just starts. Technology is setting the pace. We are blending our approach with fresh, perspectively designed breakfast show, the Mighty Drive, informative and entertainment show, exclusive and live interviews. We President Museveni was the Jews in Namula by Pimaka Unga Kilo Billy. That's what a career. Nini Bavaria Kilo Tan. We are Nemokulis, Iguanga Nebri Mundekera. Jagara Kueva is the alternative digi talk. It was the Kanoka Mighty Drive. 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 It was the Kanoka Mighty All given to you, just a click away on your phone, tablet, laptop, and smart TVs. As we are streaming live on our social media platforms, on the road and on the go. We are the Alternative Dig Talk. The Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. Thank you.
Ziri ya satu mobili zeza kaita kusawa emu Eyo kuma channel is a little man Baniliza umundi ogo kubili kuprogram Men of the mighty drive Kuso say tuwa ni tuwa news updates Vichei wa David Tambula Mugwanga lina Uganda Na ye tuko miyono mgenyu wa fio Uwalu na kuru wale Yuna bagambi tu ina constitutional minister Mgini kwa wase tende kilo ya Makere University The 85th constitutional minister At that Mr. Abbas Uyombo He is with me right here on the mighty drive Tukendo kunyumiza mwe mbozi Na bagambi tuwa ni tuwa ni kubela na mchala Na luku wago judith and that's what they could take following an illness that she had she got yesterday morning. So uh, yesterday evening, sorry. Uh, so that's what they could be and I own a for a little year dedicating the Omami Abbas. Again, I could be an angle on the two million members in a year. Uh, I've got how his life is, how is the politics in the university, and how he has been able to manage as a disabled student. Uh, Naina Sula of Banga, a bad day, a two scenarios to these great horizons of being a minister in a university like Makere University, one of Uganda's uh, prestigious universities and longest, uh, you know, uh, oldest universities in this country. So, we're going to go to at Bulia, his challenges and some of his achievements so far, and what he thinks, uh, how Uganda can be better, his political affiliations and everything at that. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me welcome Mr. Abbas Luyombo on the Mighty Drive. We welcome Sebo to one of the members of the program mwene unakuruwa liru ili atuwe ya neyanzi za nyomu kiso kutuwe duwa kulaba angatuja wano kushiaringa na haba antuwe video woze vye nja uro nwa kulaba angatuwe zimba fena ila ila kwe mula mwa kwa kwa discussion ya tuwa ganyo kubanga tu 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 mighty drive eleta haba antuwa kuhige vintu kuhige chibadeji matamanyi kulaba angatukula kula nye kuanga la fea clutch so checho echikule seza kwa tukiliza cha magezi manji kwa ina wawo kwa sugulo kutuwa na otu uli yenge lije tunatuwa le kuanga la fea maso nese tende kwa university ya mwe ili etia so katuandikile ngatina ingila mwebe vyo na katuandike kumutu abasilu yomba Abata kumani yeguani abas avuda avude woku ukfuka constitutional minister wa makerele university story yeri etia um abas luyombo um bila mbitu ndubye matuga kawempe matuga um abas luyombo na joining makerele 2017 ni ngavaku yiga ngeses ni I admitted to Kosia Mateka on the government. Childhood, I'm from the family. 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 So I did my P7, yes. Okay. So I did my P7 there after when Najima did his P7, I had got points coming up. Billy. Um, I, that was you excelled. excelled. Yes, I did, but I think possibly if it was a better place, I would do better. So I joined the O level, o -level at Higa and Gases. Before you joined O level, want to ask speed you your own boy. Because I really want to know. How your childhood has? How did you become? How did you know? I sight you were losing God. How did you start? Yeah, as a result of eye pressure, okay. so it started declining a bit when it was in the Marwari. You know, they are like it's eye pressure. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, affecting. When it goes down, the sight gets so low. When it, it when it tries to stabilize, you can improve. So we did even some operations such that the challenge is not that so worse. I have a lot of operations. There's a good gun of club and our all changes at least as it is fair, and that made things fairly better at least. Cut number, I can keep moving like that, but problem is yeah, high pressure, but you keep monitoring it and you see how you can stabilize it like that. But then that, w that would not be a problem. Life had to move on and how is it that you're able to, to move on like that easily? No, to, no, 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 so much, no much. I think it is largely because my parents, my father knew mm. I had to be educated. Yes. You know, so many, you know, because mm. the world will not have space for you. So mm. he gave it his all. So he gave it his all. In his power, anything he could raise mm. to ensure that one, you get education. Mm. Two, you are only holistically built. Mm -hmm. You can exist independently. 
and that helped me a lot. Okay, so how, how have you been able to, how, how do you do this? How, how did you learn to, 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 to really cope up with this? No, come on, I, I can read, I can study. Watch it, watch it go here because that, um, that's a big challenge. I think environment, you become a product of the environment. Bobeda musisti munge kumida mavega, nasua jakubeda mavega bati. Bobeda musisti mwe kusindi kamas. Then that will shape you and you will try to fight for your space because you are a product of a system that is pushing you to fight for your space. So consequently I had to continue with the struggle and the spirit which had been built in me to struggle for the space I need in life. And that enabled me you believe in yourself, you push for your space, you participate in everything, even where people don't believe you, you struggle to break barriers and create space for yourself and an open and safe space that can help you excel. You're really mm. a vibrant speaker. Uh, <laughs> that is a plus for you. When you're still in your kin in your primary, and uh, did you have any post leadership positions? Did you yes, uh, yes. In, curricular activities, in, like in primary, I think I, I was I, I became a prefect for I think it was academics and academic and debate mm. because I think I had passion for debate mm. so I largely participated that then games and sports I used to play games like cricket okay and I, I participated in that I think up to around P7 mm. so my leadership started my leadership participation started at around that time from P5 P6 P7 mm. I was a leader but for from that, I was that person whereby even when I wasn't at the top, mm. I would influence all that takes place at the top. Oh, okay. So How were you able to do that? I, I think my closeness with the students and the fact that I could do, I was a leader of activities that could engage a multitude of, a multitude of people. Yeah. That helped me a lot to be that person who would have connection with various groups of people. Yeah. So uh, fast forward, or the secondary. How was your secondary life? Was there any new experience? Were you shunned by students? Um, uh, this, this gentleman is blind, and they shunned him. Was one, I there? think the school was quite welcoming. Okay. It was okay, fairly. One, it was a, it was a school which was largely for which was largely a girls' population. Oh, so, so uh, they were. Yeah. What we, we would assert. <laughs> Something like that, <laughs> but okay. they were so welcoming. Yeah. They were quite cooperative. That doesn't mean there wasn't a few challenges because sometimes someone would imagine how can this person do this and you did not need to take it as possibly being shunned. You'd realize only the population in Yagaro Humanya, how do you do some things? So even when someone asked you something that would appear quite offensive, naturally you needed to take it as if this person wants to know and understand. And possibly the idea of being offensive is as a result of want of knowing nothing. So you need to make the person know. You educate them. Yeah, so possibly first term, second term, we had a few challenges here and there of senior one. But then we caught up very fast. People were with her to catch up with us. And we started learning all of us very well. It was a good environment. We moved on. We could start to study together, have discussions. And it was a good setting, basically. Okay. Um, I moved on, I think, at senior fund. I scored 10 points. Wow. Then... 10? Yeah. That's, 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 um, that's powerful. Yeah. So when senior four ends, I was lucky at that point I got a MasterCard scholarship for A level. Wow. And so I chose actually not even to change the school. I went back. Uganda. Yes, and I did history, literature, divinity, and computer. Oh, you, you, you have a friend here who's on camera. She did the same thing. Uh -huh. uh, so what were some of, uh, let's say, uh, senior forward today, how was uh, the papers? We, were you studying in an environment, let's say, where all, all students were normal and, you know, that, that same thing? Yes. Weren't you having a bit of competition maybe? Yes, yes, it was a very competitive class. Mm -hmm. You had to read hard. You had to read hard and... I, it was a school where by you, you came with your 12 points, but literally you were among the, the mm. people who have performed poorly. Okay. Mm. Yes, poor, yeah, they were good for aggregates, five, mm. six, seven, mm. eight. Yeah. So you were among those who had performed quite poorly. And okay. that was an advantage to me. And I think still it prepared me much because I think the times are... Uh, yeah, yes. 100, mm. 99, I did not get any of them. I could get over 80s. Mm. So, but then I stabilized a bit. I organized myself and 
the time when possible our hundreds and nineties started disappearing from classes. Mm. For me, I had just started now getting them. Yeah. And I had a point that I, I, I knew I needed to score highly and I needed to be among the best students. So I kept on pushing and by senior three, third term, I had got my point, my position set because by third term, I get 12 aggregates. Mm. Of course, it's a shock at some point because yes. we have not, I had not consistently appeared among the best students. Mm. And from that point, there was no return mm. till when we finished senior four, third term when I emerged with 10 points. So it was quite competitive and I think that's what enabled us to perform because there was competition and okay. people were open and supportive. Okay, so we are A-level, we entered A-level. How was yes. A-level experience? Um, I think as a matter of fact, A-level has been my easiest level of education. Okay. Yeah, I why, found why it is this? quite easy because one, I had wanted history as a subject. Mm. So all I could read was so simple. I had loved literature so much. Yeah. So things could stick in so fast. Mm. Divinity was something I could easily go through. Mm. Well, as I didn't want to read it so much, but when I read it, it was so simple. It was cheap, yeah. And so at the end of it, all the A-level was quite cheap. And mm -hmm. at the end of it, all I had gotten 20 points. Yeah, 20 out of 20. Yeah. No, wow. Mm. <laughs> and, 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 and. That, that's, that's, yeah. congratulations. I think Mastercard must have been proud of you. Yes, yes, they were really so much. Mm -hmm. And up to now, we still have a lot of discussions with them and engagements. I, I didn't join their scholarship because then I, mm -hmm. I did pre-entries and I passed pre-entries very well. Okay. So I got a government, I got government at, my, at, at law school. Oh. And so, but then during my A-level and all that period, I had participated in a lot of debating mm -hmm. till the national level and international level. So at that point then, I joined the university when of course I have a background of debate and mm. a number of people in university had seen me debating. Yeah. So when I joined law school, I think I didn't first identify myself so fast to going to debate, but mm. people who had seen me called me out. Like, hey, come here, Ruyombo. In fact, they just mm. called me when there's a competition. They're like, you need to participate in this competition. I didn't know the format of debate, but mm. well and good, I went and organized with the person I was to debate with. Mm. I uh, went at Uganda Matters University and mm. my first experience we went, we went and lost to the finals oh. okay. and from there I think that was my last time mm. to lose to the finals. The next tournaments I participated <coughs> in we won all of them oh. till I chose then to stop now debating and I give space to other people. Mm. Um, but then that gave me a grounding to the extent that when my second year I was in a position to contest Mm. as a GRC at law school. One, that was a challenge because mm. I was to participate in the mainstream politics. Okay. Who, who's, who's a GRC for someone who's there, who's watching? A, a GRC, GRC someone, I, you know, possibly a school you mm. who is okay. yes, a university. Yes, you know, a school you. When again, I'm going to hear you. Of course, I'm tricking one Uganda participating in a mainstream election. Not many people participate in it, but then you have need to make a point and to show people that you can. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, lost students believed in me because they had seen me debate. Mm -hmm. They had seen me excel in debate. They had really seen me make it. Mm -hmm. So it was quite easy. Mm -hmm. And we look in front of you, and mm -hmm. when we went at the election, we mm -hmm. were in Kawangu. No, Kawangu. Yes. How are we not here after winning that election? Because it must have been a tough one. It must have been a tough one. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough, but one, it was uh, it was just a challenge that now that these people have given me their trust, mm. then I must prove a point to them that actually your you were, your, your your views and your hopes were not misplaced. You voted the right person. And literally, when we went out at that point, that, that's the point then when I became a Minister of Justice and Constitutional mm. Affairs. Mm. And of course, there were questions, I, I, I think, within the people. Mm. They're like, can, how can he read the Constitution? Yes, how will he con interpret the Constitution? Mm -hmm. But then people who had seen me, their argument was, but you see that law school, uh, is, uh, that, uh, have, uh, is there any of us who goes to read for him his books? Is there anyone who does this for the, our things? So I went out, we interpreted the constitution to them, 
we did a lot of things closely with them and that changed them a lot. Um, to our colleagues into being in leadership, okay. and that made them believe actually things are different. And Kati, um, Mutenia, you know, 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 you one of course you needed to make people believe that you were the right person for that mm -hmm. and i think to that we did very well to prove that mm -hmm. then um of course naturally in leadership mm -hmm. you have a mandate to to, to, to score among students mm -hmm. so you had to ensure that you achieve all those different things that you need to achieve okay. for the students community oh, okay and we tried our level best really. I'm sure we tried and we, we achieved all th that which was in our power to achieve. Okay. Yes. What about the challenges? You must have found like some challenges. Um, I really think as a person, mm. personally, I, I, I did not really confront very huge challenges. Okay. I did my work as I would do it. Mm. And... I, 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 I think if, if a matter could cause me to conflict possibly with a person, yeah. if I could avoid it well and good, if it could, if it could not be avoided, then I would withdraw from that mm. because I don't think I, I had a, a lot at stake to lose if mm. to go into all that commotion. And I think that helped me a lot so with all people. In your tenure, you didn't even go through like say, strikes and things like that? That was there, but I do not think that was a challenge. Mm. It was... It, it, it was a matter that had to be carried out. Mm. It was carried out. We did our best out of it. Mm. We achieved something out of it. Okay. But it's still work in progress. More is to be done and I expect more to be done. Mm. And yes, we are proud of that which we, achieved, which we did at that particular point. Mm. I do not think we regret any action that we took at that. Me as an individual, I do not regret anything. Mm. But did you take place in the strikes? Yes, I participated, I participated in it mm. uh, fully because I believed in the cause that we were but, advancing. But, but Leon, but let me ask you something. Yeah, I'm sorry for cutting you short. But wh yes. why is it that you people look at as striking as a solution? Are there any other viable solutions? I'm so adapting and I'm going back um, to get it solutions in the One, I think to make it clear, we do not strike. Mm. And unless otherwise, but I don't think we have ever striked. So what, what, what is that? Uh, we have carried out demonstrations on various <laughs> occasions, uh, of which one, demonstrating is our right to do so. Mm. And two, that doesn't mean we always start with demonstrations. Mm. We engage people. Mm. Two, and Ikanabalua, we meet people. Mm. But when you choose not to listen, mm. everyone goes at the extreme. Mm. So, and, and a demonstration is a means to inform the public into what we are trying get concerned, let's come and look at this all of us. Mm. And that's how they come on board and they try to see all these things and we see how we can settle But have, have so, your demonstrations been uh, successful? Yes, our demonstrations have been successful, but mm. success is work in progress. Mm. You cannot say possibly a demonstration delivered 100%, but that doesn't mean it didn't deliver the best it could. So mm. it is work in progress, but it has been successful. When we demonstrated last year, we were able mm -hmm. to have a scrap of 15% increment on functional yeah. fees. Yeah, I remember that. But, we, that, that, but that remained, we remained with 15% on tuition. Mm -hmm. And so with work in progress, that can also go just as the other one was removed. But have you looked at the economy? Maybe the, the university is right. Um, I, I think the discussion is beyond being right or wrong. Mm -hmm. But it's a matter of as to whether you are justified to do that. Mm -hmm. Because you could be doing something right, but when there is no justification for that. Mm -hmm. So our argument may not necessarily be as to whether university is right or wrong, but mm -hmm. they are not justified to do that regardless of any economic discussion or anything whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Just as the economy is hard for them, they, are, they don't <laughs> exist in a different economy from those who contribute. Okay. So it is a matter of the fact that they are not justified mm. and there is no argument that can prove that particular point. But what can justify their, their claims? Do you think there is, there is any justification they can um, get? Just as I have said, there is mm. no any valid justification they can make. Mm. Apart from arguments of we are right, apart from arguments of the economy, which are, can also be countered so... They are not justified. Really. 
just Makerere, you guys just look for anything that will spark off a, a strike and a demonstration. Temu, you, you won't even sit down um, to, to, to look for justifications. You don't if, want to see the justifications. If that was correct that we only look for the reason that we'll start a strike, mm. then surely did we strike did we strike because there isn't there a fifteen percent increment? Mm. Uh, which is there mm. and it is a reason as to why we are striking. Mm. So if someone says we strike without a reason, mm. then possibly the person has not seen the reason. <coughs> but reasons are there that one day is a fifteen percent, two students are dropping out because they can't pay three education is a right to the student and four the government has the mandate to pay for their to pay for its citizens to achieve education. Mm. And that mandate can't be taken away. But even when you need to support the university you do not milk a cow like you do not milk a cow without feeding it you take the 15 percent increment always when you don't bring back services that reflect that you have the mandate to be held accountable so if you can't answer to those who hold you accountable then they have the right to withdraw what they give you okay um before we go for a short commercial break luyombo i would like uh, for you to just um give me your future prospects where do you see luyombo in uh, the future to come um, to start with, I think during the, within this period, yes. I am I am going to be contesting for the speakership of the 80, 86th Students Guild, mm. and I expect to win. I expect to get support from the GRCs of the 86th, mm. and together I think we shall advance a number of views, ideas, and things that we hold v valuable to all of us. Mm and we shall make ourselves better. We hope to build a better system. We, we hope to emerge from the challenges of the outgoing system mm. and set up a better system for us, but even for the future. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, I expect their support, and that's one thing that is coming up very soon. Okay. I expect to complete my degree. I expect to join LDC. Okay. I expect to keep working outside all these things, the politics and what. I expect to be doing different works with different people. Okay. Do you see yourself in any political affiliation, let's say political, in, in the country, like MP, um, president, let's say? I cannot predict clearly what the future holds to that point. That's mm. to say the distant future. But for as long as the circumstances make it necessary, mm. I shall be at the point where I believe I am in position to influence, to mm. cause change, and to deliver changes that I believe are relevant to me, the people I am with, and the community at large. Oh, so, so you've not given us a yes or a no? Or you'll be there or you won't be there? <laughs> you've not really ascertained who can acquire MP or not? Um, because I think uh, if I have a better space, yeah. that would be good. What if I ascertain to be an MP when surely yeah. people want me to lead them fully? Yeah. So <laughs> I will be in a position that they will entrust me with that can cause change oh, for them. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Luyombo. Uh, we, this is the end of the first hour uh, today. Uh, we have uh, Abbas Luyombo. He is uh, the Minister of Constitutional Affairs right there at Makerere University. It's high time we go for a short commercial break. When we come back in the second hour, we're going to be talking about politics in Makerere University. Why is the government, uh, you know, poking uh, their, let me say, their nose into the business of Makerere University. The leadership there, the leadership crisis, what happened to Nalukwago? Why was she disqualified? All that and more comes your way at the Mighty Drive. Let's go for a short commercial break. My name is Edgar Matthew Karuhanga. Let's go for a short commercial break. We'll be back. <music> Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. The world is at a critical moment of providing innovative alternatives as a means to create change. As such, we have created a not for profit alternative mobile Dig Talk platform as a way to promote space for freedom of speech and expression to the unheard voices. We know you believe in the cause and you can further earn it more by contributing to its sustainability in forms of internet data, fuel and any other support you deem relevant. 
please support us with your contribution to Equity Bank account number 103-5201-607252 under the name Alternative Digital or our mobile money numbers 0702-900076 or 0783-047785 Alternative Digital, Real Issues, Real Talk. Hey Ugandans, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Dewa Kiki, the Deputy Defense Spokesperson, and actually the Deputy Spokesperson for the Uganda People's Defense Forces. I was hosted on Alternative Digital. I encourage all Ugandans that this is the way to go. Always watch, participate, give your views, and ask questions on Alternative Digital. Digital, the way to go. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. Dachika Zero is a kaita kusawe bidi, so it's 8 a.m. exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mighty Drive. My name is Edgar Matthew Karuhanga. Tuchali ino muami abasulu yombo, ono ye minister wa constitutional affairs waliku setende kero makerele uh, university. Tuchali wamuna angi wanunga tunyumi ya muembozi. Juka tuwade first hour, tuwade in his life. Uh, what, how has it, uh, what, what is his life all about? How has he, how has he been able to achieve what he has achieved, uh, you know, uh, being someone who's not able to see a uh, sobodo kumanga uh, beatings a lot of, uh, you know, odds or kumanga to say no kufuka minister of constitutional affairs. He tells you he's aspiring to become the speaker of uh, the guild leadership uh, of, of, of uh, Makere University, the student, uh, you know, guild at Makere University. So uh, the, all that people like Ambuno sometimes uh, disability is not inability. You can still do whatever you can do uh, because you still have uh, the life, you still have the brains, you still have everything, ladies and gentlemen. Never be uh, discouraged just because uh, of one setback. That setback can be, uh, you know, a springboard to very many, many more uh, successes to come. So I'm still with uh, Mr. Abbas Luyombo, the Minister of Constitutional Affairs right there at Makere University. We are dissecting, in the second hour, we're going to be dissecting what has been happening at the university. Why uh, is the government into uh, the business of the university? Some candidates have been disqualified. All that coming uh, right here, right uh, at your way, right here at the Mighty Drive today in the second hour. Mr. Abbas, yes. uh, thank you for keeping it the Mighty Drive. And thank you for honoring our invitation and being here today. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, so let's talk about Nalukwago Judith. It's so much about disqualifying them. Kalukano. Tetu achi tege debulu. Ntu wazo kwe kangango mchala kubalo. Tuwe katali. Um, I think one, mm. she was disqualified because of the ideas she holds, which ideas are a representation of mm. what the common student believes in. Mm. And... She speaks the language that you don't wish to hear, but the language that will be spoken mm -hmm. for as long as students are represented, and that language must always remain. So a deliberate effort was taken not only to arbitrarily change the rules of the game, mm -hmm. but also to block out those whom they believe are defiant to the system, mm -hmm. those whom they believe stand for the views of the common student, so that was entirely her crime. 
and because of that crime she was punished for those ideas by removing her but you see an idea cannot be contained by either destruction of a particular individual or even imprisonment of a person ideas are never contained they keep moving and i think as a result of their blocking of her the ideas that she believes in the ideas that we believe in became possibly more contagious and that's why we are at the point where we have reached okay but uh, what are these rules of the game so got so many mumateka no one we had we had to have elections in march last year where we had all contested including me and that means the the results to be considered were results of first semester of the other academic year not second semester when we came back this period to hold elections yes. they laid down the rules and they are like this process is a continuation of what was happening in march, march. and that Before meant COVID. if it's a continuation mm. you carry out things as it was of march mm. last year but when they realized that people like how we are qualifying mm. for the race and many of us had chosen to support and have a common candidate such that we do not have a system where they try to play with our votes and all of this they chose to amend the rules and they are like we have started a new process now and this new process we want to consider results of second semester as well mm. however that doesn't mean that that was not that was that wasn't the problem mm. however they said she has problems with her results of second semester but we know that there were other candidates who had challenges with their results as well mm. so they chose to ignore some other factors and they look at others critically and consequently as a result of that they took all efforts within their powers mm. to block her out of the system mm. and they chose to block her out of the system when they know the election is very soon mm. so when they did that they had amended the rules they had blocked out people they had left those whom they believe can drive their ideas and so that meant that another decision had to be taken a decision was taken another person came into the race and students knew who represents them who stands for their views mm -hmm. and subsequently they made their decision and their decision is where we are that's where we have reached and possibly that's the person they believe in that even when you have blocked Judith out this person can represent who's that person who's now uh, who represent did, did he go in uh, the, the, sh the shoes of Nalukwago um one i do know i don't want to say he went in the shoes of Nalukwago mm. but he went in the race because of the ideas he also believes in mm. that we also believe in and so he came in as an individual but representing the ideas of the common person the ideas that we all believe in and the views that we are all willing to stand for and that's why i suppose students trusted him and that's why that's why he managed to come out victorious in the election okay to what extent do you think uh Nalukwago's political affiliation affected uh, his hard dismissal from uh, the, the, the the election I, I think it was entirely that mm. it is not it was entirely that but of course legally you would bring such arguments of how they changed the rules and how they said they commenced a new process when the other one is incomplete mm. but it was possible as a result of her affiliations and ideas that she holds mm. as an individual and I, I actually i want to think it may not exactly be as a result of her political affiliations mm -hmm. but it is as a result of the ideas she believes in and her approach towards those ideas Okay. because i do not think i don't want to think mm. that doesn't mean it is not true that doesn't mean that it's not possible mm. but as me i don't want to think that she's witch hunted because she belongs to nup mm. because possibly someone belongs to another party i, I don't want to believe so mm. she i think it is only a matter of the ideas that she holds as her mm. and the approach she has to she wants to use for those ideas which many of us believe in as well and we are we, we, we are adopted we, we are with the same approach but it is possibly she was criminalized for such a system but then uh, because I, I want to take you as a comrade to Nalukwago what are these ideas that she stands for that have demonized her to this extent no I, what she stands for is what all mm. common students believe in the mm. fact that 
mm. the tuition increment should be stopped okay. where it is. Mm. The fact that students should see, sh should hold the university accountable by seeing the services that the university is meant to provide as a result of the money they give them. The fact that we are online, you should, re you should revise the tuition structure because there are things you make prepare mm. for when they don't use them. Mm. These are things which are relevant to everyone. These are things which all students believe in. The fact that these are government students and you don't give them enough facilitation. Mm. The fact that people are staying in the university but they have missing results all the time. They are mm. struggling missing and results, very, very these are challenges that all students affect them. And she's willing to put it to, to put them out just as everyone is willing to put them out and at any point at the extreme all such actions may be taken so that is a problem to some people but most importantly i think it is a problem to some people because they have seen us they have seen her do it in the previous leadership and possibly they don't want to be confronted with the same system and that's why they choose to approach things the way they approach them Okay, well, well, that is really. Uh, but is is the independent is uh, the guild leadership independent right now? Because we've had of cases that there is an, a hand that an invisible hand uh, from you know the country's leadership that is taking place in the politics of the, the guild University. leadership. Mm. I think the incoming guild leadership is independent. Mm. The present guild leadership, mm. I am not sure of its independence. Is it compromised? However, <laughs> mm. The actions reflect being compromised. However, mm. as an individual, I do not have any proof that I've seen mm. them do this and this shows they have been compromised. Mm. But what I read from their actions, it reflects being compromised and being used by the government to possibly deliver different things which are contrary to what the students want. And that has become so dangerous to the students' community. So their actions seem to reflect being compromised. But I don't know whether actually in reality they have made and they have got compromised. But for me, what I read and the script I read from, it reflects being compromised and working with the government, which is not bad to work with the government, but again to frustrate students. Yeah, yeah because that is the thing. They, yes. They, they so that's what, I, that, that, that's, what that, that's what I read through all of that. But I think the students are not willing that to happen and they have made their stand clear. And I think How that's. Done these, uh, I think I think from the elections we have just had, mm. they seem to reflect the stand of the students, mm. and so you can read from that and possibly conclude that, possibly this this, this is what the students believe in, and they will not let that happen Who is the new on guild? their watch. Who's the new guild president, and what do we know about him? Um, the new guild president is Ivan Sempig. Okay, he's a medical student, and he has been in student activism. We have worked with him closely. We worked with him in the Narukwagwa's campaign. He was, I think I should say, the aide to Narukwagwa in the campaign, the, 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 the person managing the campaign. Okay. And we have largely worked together for a while, so I believe he's, the right, he's a good person as well. So one would assert that, you know what, uh, Nalukwago is going to be the one leading. Since this person was even her campaign manager, the chief campaign manager, what, what, is, isn't it that we just have a face and the brains behind is Nalukwago? Um, one fact I know is even if they woke up today mm. and I was a leader and they removed me and they brought my brother mm -hmm. or even they brought my child whom I control, that person will never be me. Mm -hmm. People have different visions and they see things differently. And so this person will be independent, but because he belongs to a particular group of people who hold different ideas at heart, they will, I'm sure, always advise him to pursue certain things. But that doesn't mean that he won't act as an individual. I'm sure he will act because he's independent minded. He's able to think as an individual and he has the will of working himself. But that doesn't mean he doesn't seek support, advice and assistance from those who have been close to him and those who have worked with him to deliver his victory. Okay. Well, uh, let's talk about the leadership uh, that has come uh, on board now, the 86th leadership. Yes. What are some of the things they should start upon with? What, what do you think is the main, uh, the main challenges that we should look out for as the 86th uh, government uh, or the leadership of Makaya University? Where should they start? Um, we have challenges like we need to address the online system mm -hmm. of learning okay. for the students. Are that is to say, how them? does it become effective? Mm -hmm. 
and how do you ensure that services are effectively delivered but at a minimum cost mm. such that people don't pay even for what they don't use. Mm. But there is a bigger challenge which is the tuition system mm. which needs to be confronted once again mm. and dealt with with consistent, constant and maximum pressure. Let's that is very key. Then mm -hmm. the electro system mm. has to be revisited what, and what forced to be revised. Why, why Issues you? like voting online, we need to understand whether actually we are ready for them or not. Mm -hmm. And if we are not, what is the best way to go? Mm. And we need to deal with a number of the virtual leadership vacuum that often we, that often we experience. So we need to see how do we promulgate or launch rules and regulations that are student-centered and student-informed and they reflect the aspirations and desires of the common student and their leadership. How do we create a leadership system that is inclusive mm. of all people regardless of their academic standings because academics may not exactly reflect someone's ability to lead mm. but then how do we as well ensure that leader, academics are not sacrificed at the altar of leadership? Okay. Okay, let's talk about online studies. Is this a viable uh, idea? Before, before we even talk about how the students with disabilities are coping with online studies, um, let's even talk about the logistics, the money. The, to the start students even have the data. Mm. From the personal perspective, yeah. which is my own perspective, I think it is viable. Mm. People it, can it, it is very wrong when you choose to remain rigid mm. and you want for you to study physical, but when you know circumstances do not... Mm -hmm. no, not make that possible. Okay. So one, it is viable. Mm -hmm. What is not viable is the way we choose to practice it. Mm -hmm. But it is viable, so it only requires revising and making it better but, for but, it to but be But students implemented. even have the data to go Students to, to do not have the data to, to mm -hmm. use to, to, uh, to participate in online classes. Mm -hmm. and that's, but that doesn't mean students can't get data. Mm -hmm. So that therefore means, that's why I'm saying we need to revise the system. But if you know students pay for a library fee, mm. but they don't use the library when they're at home studying yeah. online. Yeah. If you know students pay for a number of utilities that they don't use, mm. you lose nothing by saying we are going to give a uniform waiver of 400,000 of yeah. tuition. And, and you say this waiver, possibly uh, students will use it to buy their data. data. Yeah. So I believe the system is perfect. Mm. Uh, the system is good to be used. But the implementation is not perfect. It has to be revised, revisited, and improved for the common student. And I think that will make things better for the students. But there is no way to go. We have to go online. We have to go digital. The world has changed. Mm -hmm. We need to accept that change. But by accepting that change, mm -hmm. we need to sit down and review how we do things. So what, what is the university doing about online education? How are they carrying out these classes at Makere University? Um, I think university, they are just in the point that for them, as Tabataka classes, Nebagamba, you're going to mm -hmm. study online, there is a platform, mm -hmm. notes can be shared here, mm -hmm. teachers, should, lecturers should teach online, that is all they have done, there is no any other extra effort taken. So, I think they need also to try to reorganize themselves and they take other extra steps at which are student centered and aimed at improving students' I just saw experience. Paper is equal to physically. Uh, but tests can be online. You can submit your test back on the university system. Nenga mm. exams, but it's called a physical. Any test is used by physical. Oh, Kali, can you talk about what is your what is your political affiliation? Uh, you know, in the country, what, what, what political party do you believe in, or what entity do you believe in? What kind of leadership? Um, I believe in the leadership that seeks to create a better system for Ugandans. Mm -hmm and a leadership that can deliver that to the people, mm. I will support that leadership. Which is that leadership you support now? Um, currently, mm. currently, I think, I do not, I, I do not, I, I've, I've not yet been fully convinced by a particular group that they oh, can do this, but good. for now, <laughs> I think National Unity Platform has tried to distinguish itself mm. to have an ability to deliver something, though mm. I think it needs to be clarified and made more clear no. But I think the system we are in currently does not create a space for you to deliver, as in to make your point here, yeah, this is what you want to deliver. And so we have been, we have reached a situation where possibly we are desperate just for change. Mm, and and we, anyone we just, who is willing to deliver that change, which but, people but will be willing you, to work Ugandans with that change. Are Ugandans wrong to just look for change instead of looking for the quality? I think they the are not wrong. There. They are not wrong. They are right because possibly mm. we have failed to create options yes. that enable them 
to get the change they wish mm. so they can only get the change that is available mm. and i believe possibly there's the current system that's possibly one thing that will be blamed on them mm. that we fail to create a system that delivers change that people wish mm. but we created a system that delivers the available change to people what do you mean by the available change to people the people don't have options mm. to see whether actually to 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 to, 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 to weigh and they are like possibly this is better than the other one mm. as long as they feel this can reach us the promised land mm. they will walk they will walk with that particular group and we shall have the discussion as to whether this was the right group or not mm. after reaching okay. there Okay, but uh, let me ask you, how how do you th how do you think Uganda should achieve a peaceful transition of power? Because it has really failed from the time of independence, 1962 to 2021. We've not had a peaceful transition of power. Um, one, I think mm. there is need to build internal democracies within parties. I, that's one thing that is very important. Mm. I think. Even when we, even when, even when we are to say, okay, if we are to convince ourselves that one mm. party really is so strong, yes. and that is NRM, it's so good and so strong and so powerful that no party can win it. Mm. I don't think it is correct that one person holds the ambition, that one person is all knowing. Mm. I think people have different callings to the extent that today, if our president chose to be like, I'm, I'm giving, I'm, I'm letting another person to take over leadership. Mm. Even when this person is from the same party, because of the different vision and the difference in personality, we shall, be able to, we shall be in position to approach problems in a different manner because people have different callings in life, mm -hmm. even when they are the same. You can just take an example of Tanzania. Mm -hmm. The other lady was the, uh, the, lady was the, was the vice to, 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 to the president, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. But when she, when she took over leadership, she has taken another approach altogether. Yes, yes. And that therefore shows that sometimes if we can't at least guarantee change from one party to another, yeah. can we guarantee change from one, one person party. to another? In the same party at least. Even if it's the same party, yeah. but at least you know, because they share, they have different callings, they will approach yeah. things differently, differently and you'll have different solutions to different problems. And possibly you will try to reduce the thirst and that quenching for the new leadership <laughs> in the country. Okay, we have a challenge between uh, one political affiliation you fall for NUP and uh, FDC. Uh, these people are both on the opposition side, but they are both uh, fighting each other at the end of the day. How best do you think they should approach this this, this game in, in, in order for them to, to, to reach their goal? I, I, uh, their I, goal is taking part. I think that shows you the point I, did, I told you earlier that mm. we, are, we are in a state where people only get now the available change, but not the needed change. Okay. So. I, I think the struggle of FDC and NUP is merely a struggle of prison inmates of who of them should be a leader of the prisoners. Because even when you lead the prisoners, you are still in a prison. Yeah, you are still a prisoner at the end of the day. And that will not change your life, surely. But that only shows how much they have resigned to the point that they can only struggle to lead the prison, but they can't struggle to get out of the prison. But what should be done? So, I, I think... It, it all goes back to them sitting down and, reali mm. and realizing that there is something beyond mm. what they are struggling for. But me and you can't deliver that to them. Mm. It, is, it, it is a matter of personalities, really. Mm. It is a matter of personalities, but most importantly, at the end of it all, it's a matter of politics. Mm. And some people may be willing to do some things, even things that are extreme, even things that do not matter. They will be willing to do all that. But at the end of it all, mm. I think they will lose trust from the common Ugandans. Mm. And when they fail to agree, on, to, agree with it, to agree and compromise and see how they can move on, mm. you will see a new system coming up and dislodge both of them, and that system will emerge again. Okay. So I, I think if they don't settle their problems, Ugandans will settle them. Okay. Um, let's talk about uh, political persecution. Many people from NUP and other opposition sides have been abducted. Some have been uh, murdered, unfortunately, and some are being held in communicado. They cannot talk to their loved ones. They've not seen anybody. Some are being tortured. How do we, as a country, uh, move on from things like these ones and have a better, you know, a better future for our generation that is yet to come, for our children, your children, my yombo that are, yombo that are going to come in the future? Um, I think one there is need for a national conversation. 
we need to accept that there are things that are not going on well and we need to sit down and have first of all a dialogue about these things mm. you know you can never solve a problem before you accept that the problem is there mm. so there is need for us as a country to have a conversation mm. and agree with the fact that some things are not right and there is need to address them and there are people who should come up and speak about all these things and when we do that, then we but shall have they talked, they've told you an interpretive uh, organization of dialogue. No, 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 no. Let, let, let's leave again. I, I, I don't want to say my reservations about iPod, but I think if we talk about national conversations and talking about problems, iPod is not a discussion about this, I think. Why, why do you say that, Abbas? I think it's just a political club for people to just take their time there and possibly to show the Western world how they can meet and discuss. But it's not a genuine di point of discussion. Oh. It's just a matter of people to spend their time and possibly get money. Hey. But it's not a point of a genuine but dialogue. The, the people have been on, on the same table with you with Kaguta Museven, the Nobel Mawas. Yeah, there is being on the same table with the president and then having a genuine dialogue with the president. Okay. When you're having a genuine dialogue, you forget the fact that you're a president. You, now, you are now a Ugandan and we are Ugandans. Mm. And so we talk about our problems as Ugandans mm. and see how we can confront them and then later you can be the president. Okay. But before that, things will get extremely very hard so there is need for that dialogue and there is need for confessions about some people what has gone wrong mm. and we see if we can forgive each other and move on but before we go to all that i think it is important that we return to normal and even when there is a contestation of power i think kidnaps and abductions and persecutions are acts of being coward i think mm. i think anyone who is good enough he will move he will do things and you will win and you will be politically recognized without doing such extreme measures but that doesn't mean that those who do wrong actions like being ex like taking a law within their hands should be justified however even when someone takes the law within his or her hands there is never any justification that allows anyone to abduct him or her to kidnap him or her to torture him or her and to keep him in isolation or in communicado. Like, even when someone goes at the extreme, that is never justified at any standard in life. Mm. That is never justified. And I think it is a mandate of all of us, regardless of where you belong as a political affiliation, regardless mm. of your views, to stand up mm. and challenge that. Mm. And we see how we make things better. That doesn't mean you, if you belong to NRM that you should support that. No, I'm sure NRM people, they don't believe in that as well. I'm sure it is a group, a particular small group of people which is doing these things and everyone must stand up to it and challenge them and ensure that we make a better system. Okay. Abbas, how, how best in your own view, because you've, you've really shunned the uh, iPod, how best in your own view can this national dialogue be achieved? Because people have put on platforms like iPod and many people have, this, have not talked about iPod. They say this is just a where people get money and drink tea. How best can this dialogue approach be, be you know, be... Um, I think the idea of that discussion once starts with the president himself having the will. Mm. I think all things have failed because he has not yet gotten the will. The will to talk. The will to talk, the will to engage, and the will to take himself as a Ugandan now before he is a president mm. and to look at with the genuine eyes of what is going to happen to us possibly when he's away. Because as a fact, he has been in leadership for long and there are problems that can come with that if that is mishandled. Mm. And so we need to have that discussion and we confront. And when he chooses to have the goodwill and he does that, mm. all these things will happen. When Nyerere led, led Tanzania for yes. over 20 25 years, years yeah. when he accepted that there is something wrong, and he accepted to have a discussion with Zippo. He stepped down and Tanzania, despite the challenge yes. of having one party leading, mm. at least they have a system which has developed. Yeah. They have built it. Mm. At least now they can learn to... It. Now they are struggling how do you create a transition from one party to another. Yeah, yeah. But they have made it possible that an individual can and leave change, power and yes. another one can come mm. and things can move on. Because I think our problem mm. is want to if when we achieve the fact that people should leave power mm. and they stay around and see others lead mm. all things will start working out but before we get to that point when we know there can only be one strong man mm. who can only who, who must dominate the system and when he's not there our lives are at stake mm. 
that will always always be challenging There is no peace when this individual is not there because they say you come with peace. Without him, the peace is not also there. Uh, but uh, let's talk about the militarization of politics in Uganda today. You've seen people even here at your university. People yes. with guns and police have been, you know, everywhere in the political spectrum of the country. Everywhere where there is election, there is police, there is the military, there is a lot of commotion caused by these security organs. How best can politics be received without having, you know, uh, the military and the police, uh, you know, taking place in these uh, political, uh, you know, political activities? Um, one thing I think from an honest point of view, yes. it will be very tricky that you condemn a child to be a thief, but when the background of the family, they were all thieves. I think that can be quite problematic. So I think mm. it is quite tricky to demand for politics mm. from a system which is not a product of politics, okay. but a product of a military operation and such <laughs> things. So I think it will be quite problematic to demand that. Because I think, one, we need to be fair at some point. Mm. Well, as I think possibly they would have the will to be like, how would we practice politics without all this? Mm. But then this is part of their DNA and uh, the military, really it is, it, it is oh, the media that has the shaped core. the party. Oh, it yeah. has been the core of everything. Yeah. Power has been rested in that. It has contained the power. It is the source of their legitimacy. Mm. So if you are taught always in life that when, you are, when someone attacks you, you have to use, your, you have to use a stick. Mm. Even when you are told that you can discuss, you are negotiating with this person, you come to negotiate, but with your stick around. <laughs> so I think there is that problem that within the system itself, uh, it has been built on that. I, I so with that hangover, yeah. even when you try to talk, yeah. when the point fails to reach home, then we have to go back to what we, what we know best <laughs> yeah, and what we can gun. do best, and that's the gun. Yeah. The only problem is that we have now, it is getting unregulated, because possibly uh, previously, in a few years yeah, back, yes. that was the DNA, but it was regulated. Yeah. But now it's getting unregulated, and I think that's becoming so challenging. And I think if we do not address the problems we have, which are problems of power transition, which are problems of how do we build systems that, 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 that represent the interest of people, how do we build independent systems, we are, we, are, we, are, we are going for the worst more to come, I think. Okay. Let's talk about the curriculum in Uganda, the curriculum of the country. Uh, we've seen that uh, over the years, people have been studying the same things they've studied before. And uh, they, 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 there's things like, um, you know, you have to read, and after reading, you go to university, after university, you look for a job. You know that curriculum that shapes job seekers rather than job creators. How best can this curriculum, you know, may, be made better for the students, for the generation that is now coming, the students who are in P1 and SRA, P2, how best can, can we see, shape this curriculum to, be, to, to, to suit the generation right now, even the time right now? Still, I think to be so fair to start from that perspective, you cannot demand for a good curriculum from a broken system. Mm -hmm. That becomes very problematic because if something is broken, internally broken, and externally broken, you do not expect it again to deliver the best. However, there are good people within the system who know what should be done and all these things are there, but there is no goodwill because really I don't think education, education has not yet been a priority for our leadership. Okay. It is not a priority, so there is a problem of that. that we, but I think we need to start by prioritizing education. They, they created a new curriculum just of recent, but there is no money to implement it. Yeah. Schools can't use it effectively, but we know all of us that we have money to implement if we chose to implement it. Mm. So I think it will start by how do we make education a priority to us, and if we choose to make it a priority. But one would say it's already a priority. They started UPE 1997, that is what, 24 years down the road? and um, I think UPE doesn't report. reflect being a priority, because when you look at how much they pay for every child in UPE, and the economic standing, that is enough to show that education is not a priority. And just of recent, I think they are removing UPE. Yeah. But most importantly, how much money do they invest in other things? Yeah. So really, UPE isn't the thing. UPE is just like a matter of how do you keep the children busy, yeah. but not looking at what you're giving them. The quality. So it's about, I think we have the best people who can formulate the curriculum that we need, yeah. but it's, we just need the goodwill. When we get the goodwill, I'm sure we have the best people around this country, around the world in this country, 
to give us the best things. That is only represented by the documents we always draft. Mm -hmm. When you look at the education white paper of Professor William Kajubi, mm -hmm. it's very perfect. Mm -hmm. When you look at our national development plans, are very mm -hmm. perfect. But you just keep seeing us advancing on NDP 1, NDP 2, yeah, I think now we are on NDP 3. Yes, yeah, I don't know whether we achieved 1 and 2, but <laughs> we keep advancing. So we need to build the goodwill, but that starts with re restructuring and reorganizing the systems But you know, but, uh, these people have policies and they write them down very well. But the implementation is the problem. Because the system is broken, just as I've said, the system mm. has no priority of that. Someone who was not produced as a result of being the best person in class and he came and he excelled very well and he spoke and they voted him in power yeah. he can't really believe that education can bring more good people like him yeah. but he can know at least that having carried out a military operation that delivered me here yes actually the military can produce more other good people like me and so that deserves a heavy investment to produce more people like me okay. but not education which could produce possibly more other better professors more other inventors yeah. and so therefore we think by creating, by, we can create jobs by importing industries from other countries to come here, but most importantly, importing industries that do not manufacture, but industries that assemble yeah. things from here, and we think that is development. <laughs> I think we still have a long way, but that but will one come would when say, we make uh, a system Abbas, better. Abbas, how many African countries are, are, are manufacturing? Most of them are assembling. We can, can, you see, can, it's not we, a question of how many African countries mm, are manufacturing. Mm. It's a question of what do you do? Mm -hmm. If you think mm. Singapore, the likes mm. of Malaysia, Indonesia, mm. they, 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 they were also once like us and South we Korea, were South better Korea, than they, them. They South got, Korea was yeah. better, we were better yeah, than yes. them. But they manufactured. Did they first ask, ask themselves as who is manufacturing in Asia? Mm. It's a question of a country deciding its course and the country will take that course. Mm. South Africa does a number of things. They, yes. they made their they course. Did. Well, as the whites did a bigger role as well because it's, it's, their, it's their country as well, but it's their country. Okay. And even us, we as a country, we can, take, we can make decisions, we can decide on some things and we prioritize them and we can move on. Yeah. But if we have failed to do the simple basics, then it gets very problematic. But I think it all goes back to the system we have. If we create a good will system and we build systems that are willing to work for the people, then we can do something. All right. At 35 minutes past 8 a.m., I'm still with Mr. Abbas Liyombia. He is the Minister of Constitutional Affairs at Makere uh, University. He has been telling us a lot of things, and uh, we are into the last 25 minutes uh, to the end of the show. So I think it's high time. I'll read a, a couple of messages on social media. What have you been telling uh, Mr. Liyombia? And after that, you can even call in live. I'll be opening up the telephone numbers uh, very, t very soon. We shall be opening up. But before we uh, delve into what uh, your feedback and what is happening on social media and uh, your calls, I think uh, let's first talk to Mr. Liombi about Makere University. Makere University has been one of the most prestigious universities. I think it started in 1922, right? Yes. 1922 is the longest, uh, the oldest university in this country. But there is a challenge, Liombi. This university is slowly uh, going down the drain. It is not the Makere University, the, the, the Ngugi Wathiongos attended. It's not the Makere University that uh, the Nyerere's went to. Uh, you know, the Kenyatta's and, and so much more. Many, many, many prestigious names have mm. gone through the institution of Makere University. Right now, Makere University is not the Makere University that we had before. It is falling slowly by slowly. Why do you think this great institution is, is no longer one of the best universities in Africa, if not um, the whole world? One, I think one Makere is still great. Yeah, but it's That's not great with, like it used to be. It could be ch collapsing a bit, but the collapse is a, is a result of the politics that has been brought in Makerere, mm. the desire to ensure you have Makerere, you know, there has been a deliberate, a, a deliberate effort to break all areas of resistance, all areas of deep thinking. Okay. And so as a result of that, Makerere has been a victim of that. And that's why Makerere is almost under military operation. What do you mean That security that, is full of Makerere. Makerere is dominated by security personnel. Mm. Makere is now dominated by political appointees okay. and so I think it has ceased to be an academic institution and now getting a lot of politicians who, whose aim is not, because it's not bad to have politicians who are academic in nature, but politicians whose role is to stifle any independent thinking among the students' community, to stifle any 
steps that can be taken to make things better to suffocate yes. voices of dissent from within there mm. and that as a result has made brains that matter within the university either to exit mm. or to go into concealment and now people are operating without any advice mm. but to take their own course and as a result of that the university is declining but most importantly mm. the university has been used as a political tool yes. And because of that, that means the university is no longer achieving the role it has to do. It only does less, and we are proud of that less. Yet we have to do much, and we have failed to look at other things. And those who speak out yeah. are taken as a problem, and they have to be suffocated, Abbas, suppressed, and destroyed. Abbas, I, I really think that maybe Makai University reached that point where they, they couldn't achieve anything more. No, no, like no. They no, reached no. That, that point of stagnancy. No, no, no that's not said, correct. We have achieved. That's no, not correct. There. Now the issues have come and No, 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 that's not correct. One, yes. um, I think Makere still holds its position. That's one. But two, mm. Makere did not reach a point of stagnating. Mm. Makere still has the will actually to climb higher and higher, mm. even to lead, to, to be better. Because up to now, it, I'm sure it's the best black university in Africa. But mm. that's not enough for us. We needed to go further, but... Mm. It doesn't make a point when you are the best, but you stagnate from the best, and those whom you are winning by a long, by a big, huge margin, okay. are trying to try it, are trying to catch up. Mm -hmm. It's only, as I've said, turning the university into a political establishment has affected its performance, suffocating and destroying all voices of dissent and people who have all different views opposed to the establishment has affected it, and mm -hmm. that's what is delaying. Uh, that's what is holding us back. But I'm sure, as always, with Makerere, mm. we shall always have our way out. Because with Makerere, mm. you can block any other institution, mm. you can restrict anyone, but that can't be Makerere. You can only suppress it and suffocate it for a while, but soon we, shall go. we are going to have a breakthrough, mm. and we shall move at our original pace after breaking the systems and members of the, of the establishment okay. who have affected how things should be done. There is a school of thought that says uh, maybe uh, Mr. Barnabas and uh, his colleagues have not even also done enough in, in, admin, in doing a, a ex excellent administration of uh, Makerere University. How true are these allegations? I think I do not disagree with that school of thought. They have not done what is enough mm. and possibly I think they have also been either victims of they have accepted to be used in these political games that are happening currently and mm -hmm. subsequently the university has got affected as a result but i think since these people came and they found the university and they are leaving it here mm -hmm. well they are leaving it with a very negative standing mm -hmm. with a with a lot of effects but i can tell you mm -hmm. we are material and we are going to all these things will be corrected mm -hmm. by all means either using we shall use all means within our powers, I can assure you, okay. and Makere will get back on its standing. Okay. That is not negotiable, and we shall get to that. Okay. It's only a matter of time. Okay, but how do we achieve what you're talking about? Because you can say that, yes, we are going to do this. One Makere, is, just as I've said, mm. we must be at the center of restructuring the country. Because Makere is a victim of the problems of the country, the broken systems, the things that are no longer working. Okay. So when we create better systems, Makere will also work. But before even we create better systems, yes. Makere will struggle to get rid of the group that has captured it. Mm. And I'm sure when we expand that group out of Makere, mm. our next operation from Makere shall be how do we better the country. Okay. And I know from Makere we can do that clearly. Okay. We have done okay. such things earlier <laughs> beyond Uganda and we shall do it. Okay, I feel like yeah, 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 you're 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 living in the past to some extent, Abbas. I don't know. Why. And the reason why the reason why you will think so, yes. it's because you have been convinced by the mm. have been convinced that things are not possible. Mm. And now, when you hear people who are telling you that actually things are going to be possible, mm. you doubt them. I can tell you in Makere, mm. we have run a race of three days when our candidates have been removed. We have fought against the establishment and the state and even not being supported by a number of forces mm. and we have delivered victory. Okay. Our, our activities are within Makere, but mm. I know from there we are moving to where we have to move to. Okay. But before we get there, we want to first correct Makere and for us we are not willing to just talk from outside. Okay. We are going to enter into the university system mm. and fight from within 
and then we see how we can make Makere better because we think mm. there is the good unlike Uganda mm. in Makere we still have the good will of mm. people and these people have not yet resigned completely mm. to the to the establishment which is breaking them mm. and so we need to come up to support these people these good people mm. give them hope work closely with them but even use all means within our powers mm. together we shall create the things we need i can tell you countries have changed because of students movement and yes, i think that's maybe why even uganda itself that's why the system is mm. determined to oppress <coughs> makere because i think the starting point of killing students movement is mm. destroying makere yes but we are also proving that that will not happen mm. and that's why we are standing up mm. challenging people yes. and i am sure all that will not happen when Makrele, we are watching. We shall make things better with the support of the people. Only that people are so relaxed. Mm. I can tell you when we, when we had a demonstration on tuition increment, yes. we were, as near was disappointed with the public. Mm. Because the public, it's, it's, the, it's the parents that pay this money. Mm. It is you people who pay this money. But you are seeing someone who, 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 who is feeling pain for you, mm. saying, but you should be assisted and for you, you choose to sit back. Mm. So we have seen these changes and we are trying to think on how we can approach these things better. But mm. I'm sure there is a good way in Makere. We only request the public to be supportive yes. and to come up and work together. Mm. They are all they were, there will always be victims of all these challenges that we go through. Yes. There is a price that always has to be paid. But we must be willing to pay that price because everything is costly. The price of freedom is, exp is high. The price of good education and affordable mm. education is high, but we must have people who are willing to pay that price. And okay. I can tell you, history shall exonerate all those yeah. who stood at the okay. side of the oppressed and okay. stood against the oppressor. Okay. At uh, 45 minutes past 7, 8 a.m., ladies and gentlemen, we have 15 minutes to the end of the show, so it's high time. You call in live, the uh, number is uh, 0789 uh, 017. One four five. The number is zero seven eight nine zero one seven one four five. You can talk to me. You can talk to Abbas, and uh, you can still log on to our social media platforms at uh, uh, the Alternative Uganda on Facebook and the Alternative Uganda on Twitter, and still on YouTube. We are the Alternative Uganda. I will go through a couple of your messages. Uh, many people are watching. You have Wamala Charles. So Wamala, I, I started with Wamala because he has a, an interesting question for you. He says he knows you personally, and. Uh, he says he's seen you, but you are you you you're never with anybody trying to give you direction or to hold your hand or something. How is it that you are able to to walk around a campus and around the streets without help, and yet you know you cannot see? How how do you do this? Um, one, it is about the skill of mobility. Okay. And before you even answer, let, let me also put a, 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 a note to that. I saw him cross the road today, uh, without anybody helping him. <laughs> so, um, I, I'm, one, I I'm think in with Wamala. it is. <laughs> One, you need, as I said, you need to build the eye character of being independent. Mm -hmm. Whenever you learn to walk because people are around you and to do everything when you're being assisted, mm -hmm. that means when those people are away, yeah. you can't do anything. And that can be used as a tool against you. Oh. So you need to know how you can learn. And two, there is the skill of mobility. Possibly you will need assistance in a new place, mm -hmm. but you need to ensure you learn that place so fast that then you can but do everything without But how do you learn those roads in your head? Uh, I think that's the art of mobility and mm -hmm. having the ability to see that you can understand an area clearly without seeing, without it. seeing it and gradually get to know how to navigate through it. Mm -hmm. That is an art that you need to get used to yourself, mm -hmm. that you need to learn as an individual. And when you fail to do that, then things might challenge you so much. So that is an art that you need to do. It has its challenges, uh -huh. but then you must not... You see, there is nothing in life without challenges. Mm. But how do you capitalize on the opportunities mm. and then minimize the challenges that come with that? Oh. Yes. So you've learned to, to, to walk around without... No yes, I've learned to walk around all places I need to. That yeah. doesn't mean I don't need help. Sometimes you may need help when you're going to cross extremely busy roads. Yes. But that doesn't mean that you should put yourself in a state that then mm. people should take advantage of you because of the assistance you'll always need. You must create that self-reliance okay. and independence. What about Kampala City? Do you know, do you, can you navigate yourself very well? I can Kampala navigate City? myself in places that I, I, I need mm. and in places that I can't navigate myself through. Mm. Still, I will create a me. I, I must create a system that I get assistance, mm. but I shouldn't get assistance because I am vulnerable, but because I need it, period. Mm. 
the assistance should never be because you are vulnerable. Oh. You should get an assistance because it is necessary and you need it just like anyone can need an assistance. Yeah. But not an assistance based on vulnerability, vulnerability. and pity. Oh. Okay, well, that, that is really, I, I'm, I'm really learning a lot, a lot from you in this interview. It's not just an interview for me, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a lesson, lessons I've learned. Like, because I've never seen somebody who, who really is uh, determined and intelligent at that. Uh, but that, that is really, let me go through some of the messages. Nabuke uh, are watching, Tumusime um, Kato are watching, uh, Mr. Norman Tumuhimbise are watching, Farida Wikobere, thank you for always watching, and Charles from South Africa is watching, Daban, yeah, thank you for uh, all of those messages. Rukia Nabanja, all of you guys, Nelson Ruto from Kenya, thank you so much for watching. It's really, really something that is so good when all of you keep watching uh, the show. Uh, thank you, thank you so, so much. Your messages are so many. I, I won't be finishing all of them, but allow me, I'll uh, come to the end of the show at uh, just 10 minutes to the top of the hour. Uh, let, let me, let's first talk about something small and uh, maybe we come to the end of the show. Uh, Mr. Bass, uh, students have had a challenge of uh, unemployment. You know, they're, they're studying things, but they're reaching and, you know, the things are, uh, some are course units and people study them as courses and some courses don't have even have jobs. What advice would you give a student out there who's looking for a job and uh, how best should they, uh, you know, tackle this particular challenge? How can they go about uh, job creation and job getting or job acqu acquiries? Um, mm. I think one, mm. there is need possibly to build the art of entrepreneurship despite the hard system that we go through yes. despite the challenges that we are facing we need mm. to be hopeful one you need to have the hope in you okay. but then the hope has to be a has to be accompanied by the desire to work mm. using any means available so there's need to be entrepreneur in nature yes. so then you can get self-employed and start some small businesses there though of course, they also have come with their problems because of the system of taxation, yes. the system of how do you get subsidized on some things. Mm. But I mean, it's a hard system we are going through okay. and we just need to tighten our belts and harden ourselves mm. to confront these challenges. And then we need to see how do we get into areas. You may not have studied a particular thing, but can we try to put ourselves into situations where we can do even that which we didn't study because well that's where the situation has forced, has forced us, us that's the world now we are in and so how do we get into such such spaces to ensure that we build that willingness of working and let's not despise jobs really mm -hmm. if a job comes your way do it that which you expect will find you when yeah. you have done what that which is what what is available it is quite demeaning and discouraging because you paid a lot for your tuition, for your yes. education. Mm -hmm. But well, that's what the system has brought. So we can't ask for apples when we don't have them and when we have mangoes. Let's first deal with what we have, do what is there, mm -hmm. try to be entrepreneurial, get into self spaces and get some self-employment. I can tell you we shall reach where we are going, but it's just a long story, a long journey. But everyone must write his story and you have to work hard towards that i think we shall create a better system with time okay but for now really do what you can and i'm happy the university has started restructuring a number of courses phasing out some yes. and trying to see that we can they give birth to courses that are relevant but that doesn't mean that that will solve the problem of unemployment because our system has failed to create employment so we just need to see how do we tighten how do we go into self-employment and then we employ others and how do we try to do what is available because that's the system we have created for ourselves but most importantly we need to struggle to ensure that we would together build a better system that can represent all our interests and can 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 work in our favor okay uh, what's your vision to the world Abbas? um i dream of a world where we are all equal and opportunities are open to everyone regardless of your background regardless of your status in life but it's only may it's only your ability that matter where you're not judged by your character your con your your background but the content that you have is what you used to determine to be determined yes. and we have the right to access all opportunities all of us equally that's well a, a world which is quite distant but i i know one thing that we have the ability as individuals to do these things and everyone needs to, to do his or her part 
together we can build a world where everyone is accountable and everyone then can win. Okay, uh, we like to end the show on a light note, Abbas, and uh, sometimes we, we may ask, uh, we we'll go personal, or, uh, but let's, let's tell us some of, uh, you know, your interests. And, uh, by the way, yesterday was Mother's Day. You can yes. send your mother a happy Mother's Day. Uh, yes, I uh, really wish her a happy Mother's Day. My mother, she's uh, called yeah. Nakato Mastula Nache Yune. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's Malongo. in Matugan. Mm, okay. So. I'm happy really for the support that she gives me wow. and the willing and mm. like she's always very supportive yeah. and a nice person really mm. i am happy with the support she always gives me and mm. i pray that mm. we possibly get to share more and have more interest and yeah. together we make life better and yeah. together she works towards achieving also what she believes in because mm. we have different be views and beliefs as mm. individuals okay. but sometimes you can have a merging point yes which i find very natural and normal oh, so i surely pray for her success as well <laughs> Amen. do you have like some love tips you have to give to the people out there how they can better their love experience um do i have do i have <laughs> i don't know you tell me i am not sure whether i have but i think let them love themselves more <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Abbas. And what are some of their interests away from uh, work, away from politics, and away from? Law? I love reading novels and plays. Okay. I love music. Mm. When I'm disturbed, I love listening to music. Mm. Who's your best artist? Someone that you know, you listen to their music and you're like, yeah, um, I'm going to music. I like reggae music to start mm, with. So okay. I think all people who sing reggae sometimes mm. their music gets so interesting. They're like a dubes of this world. Yes, yeah, okay. and I like Juliana's music. Mm, wow. Okay. Mm. And good life music. Oh, ready and wisdom. Yes. Okay. I uh, send uh, your last shout outs and your last message to anybody watching, everybody watching you today. Um, yes, surely we thank all those that have been around. Yeah. We all thank those who have watched us. I pray we spread the message out there. Yeah. Let's assist everyone. I, I believe we all have abilities provided we are given space, yeah. but most importantly, provided we are trained on how to seek for space. Okay. So let's be open to everyone, let's be supportive to everyone. Mm. Let's create a world where all of us can thrive and try to achieve something. Let us be restricted by our abilities but not lack of opportunities. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you so much Abbas for giving us this opportunity on being on the Mighty Drive uh, today. It has been an, really an honor to have you around and uh, we hope that next time we call upon you, you will be in position to come uh, back again. Eh? Surely, yes. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, at just uh, five minutes to the top of the hour, we come to the end of the show yet again today. It has really been an insightful, in educative uh, discussion with uh, Mr. Abbas Luyombo. I told you he is the Constitutional Minister at Makere University and he's saying he's aspiring for more. He's coming as the speaker of uh, you know the students guild right there at Macquarie University we will be wishing him a lot of luck and we pray uh, that God may see you through uh, this particular process and uh, you be the next speaker of uh, Macquarie University I'll be humbled to interview you back again here as the speaker of the students sure yeah, I okay. look forward to that and yeah, okay. we're already starting we are working towards our campaign mobilizing yeah. people mobilizing resources and I know we shall make it by all right doing. okay so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for tuning in today it has really, really been uh, fun to have you along from uh, 7 a.m. up to 9 a.m. The two stories are going to be able to do so sacrificing an internet war. No gamble going to be able to drive. So it is really, really, really uh, an honor to have you guys watching me uh, from 7 to 9. And uh, yeah, feel free to watch again tomorrow. I'm going to be having uh, Farida because he's going to be here. Uh, Arnold uh, Mokose Anthony will be here with Omulangira Nachibingeke Chimbugwe. They're going to be here talking, you know, every Tuesday. It's always time for the pre so they will be here with uh, Arnold and Farida and uh, they will be dissecting more on how we can build a better Uganda. On uh, my uh, production team today was Nabukera Teddy Tenjo and she is uh, you know the producer of the day then on camera we had uh, the legend Arnold Mukose Anthony. The driver is none other than Jeremiah Mochibi and uh, thank you
thank you so much guys for always making this a reality i'm i'm who i am because of them without them we cannot be here so a special shout outs to that crew thank you so much for always being there and uh, everybody who has watched today uh farida wamala uh, you know tumusime kato kakuru and uh norman everybody who has been on the show it's really really amazing that you guys uh, take time and watch uh, the mighty drive kamoga franklin jr tells me he always watches it on youtube every after uh, it's downloaded he will just go there he doesn't want anything to buffer he always wants it alive and direct we have been in makere right here talking to uh, mr bass luyombo i told you he is the constitutional minister at makere university till uh, next time i will be here on wednesday uh, tomorrow will be annulled as i've told you and uh, thursday and as we end the week we shall be all here talking to you as the mighty drive ladies and gentlemen let's go uh, in uh, for it's the end of the show so there's no short commercial break we're just going and we'll see you tomorrow at uh, same time same station it is the alternative uganda on facebook and on youtube the alternative of uganda please log on to our socials today by the way today in the evening we're having the voltage show by louis de Lidian. please uh, tune in at 7 p.m to 7 uh, to 9 p.m she will be right there talking about the e politics of uganda ladies and gentlemen my name is edgar matthew karuhanga till next time good morning Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk.